Hello folks, thought I'd do a video on my boat setup. Uh, several people have asked me about how I got my boat set up and what type of boat it is. As you can see, it's a Lumacraft 175. I got it on a easy roll trailer with a roller trailer. Quite an easy troll step on it so it makes it easier to get in and out of it. Uh, on the front, I added that boat to trailer on the nose here. Uh, the verdict's still out on this. The first time I had it out, it, it didn't work right. It released fine, but getting it up on the trailer, it, it had a problem, so I did some adjustments. So we'll see next time how it works. Uh, and we'll jump inside and take a look at it. Let me show you the back real quick, though. There's the pole I got set up for my GoPro. That's where I got that hooked up and that hooks into your tier white. And then I got my Vantage trolling motor, which is dynamite. I love this trolling motor. It works great. I got my Wave Whackers on the back, which is a must for walleye fishing. Back and heavy wind. They work awesome. I wouldn't have it without it. Uh, I got a Yamaha 70. So, it'll go pretty good, but 32 miles an hour or so. Uh, there's the other side of the wave whacker. Okay, so we'll jump in, uh, jump in now and take a look at it. Okay, so now we're on the inside of it. As you can see, there's my, here's where I do my back trolling. From the walleye, usually going, you know, back towards the transom when I'm trolling. Like I said, the wave whackers help out tremendously. Uh, I got a rod holder set up there, which I don't use very often unless I'm crappie fishing or I get lazy or something. And then I got my Hummingbird uh, Helix 12 right across from me. So I do most of my fishing right up the side here so it's right in front of my face I can see it real good I usually got my metal bucket right at my feet here I got my uh, pedal for my for my bow mount troll motor I can control it right from the back I don't have to jump back and forth uh, this is where my live wells at I got some other stuff in there right now. But there's the console. You got your speedometer, tachometer, lights and all that stuff. You got two outlets. I put this top one in as an extra. Uh, I usually got my metal bucket plugged in here and then my phone and my uh, Remote control for my uh, troll motor, my front bow mount troll motor. I recharge it right there. But this is one thing I don't like about this boat. Uh, Lumacraft kind of dropped the ball on this one. They put this 12 volt outlet right over the top of this where you open the live well. So you got something plugged in there and you gotta push the cord back. It's a big hassle. Don't like that. As you can tell, I got a tiller motor here. Works great. I love it. This little towel here is great. If you don't have something like this, you need one. I'm telling you, I figured this out last year. It's a great tip. If your wife has these dish towels, it got the little. Uh, I guess they mount on a, on a knob on a door for your kitchen drawers or whatever, but it slides right over right over this handle perfectly and it dries out real quick because it's hanging here I got the motor up now but when it's down it's hanging more straight up and down like this 
dries out real quick you know it doesn't interfere with steering and it, it works great I've tried to put it mounted on the side and it wants to flip them over and get wet uh, so if you got a tiller motor this is a great tip get some of these dish towels with the loop on it put it right over your tiller handle and it works fabulous always stays dry always right there wipe your hands off uh, over here I got my uh, marker buoys got two there I got my fish gripper which has a float on it so it fits right in this holder real nice I don't have to worry about it flopping around or nothing and then I got my tool holders for my pliers and file and scissors and stuff which mount on these I don't know if you can see it, a luma track these things you can slide them up and down on this track they work great for mounting stuff uh, the only drawbacks are kind of expensive they used to be $25 a piece and now they're like $37 a piece for one of these but I got those set up on these rod holders too. I got a Berkeley, just a cheap rod holder that I screwed into this. And then you can slide this whole thing around to wherever you want it in the boat. You don't have to drill holes and all that. So I'm gonna swing around here. So I got that, that's where I usually keep my couple of walleye rods here in, the, in these holders uh, I also got a rod holder right here and you can put more rods in here like uh, I guess about five five or six but, <clears throat> but really only about four comfortably and then on the other side I got the same thing I usually keep a couple of bass rods over here same setup And then over here we got more rod storage. It doesn't have the conformed rod holders, but you can put a lot of rods in there. And then moving up I got a step which helps me get up and down from the front because have a problem with that so that helps out a bunch another rod holder rod storage in here you can put several rods close that up and then basically the rest of them up front's all storage okay basically the up front here the rest is storage you got more storage for tackle boxes here it goes underneath that's where I got the battery chargers more storage here you got two big front ones to put whatever you need up there another one there that I don't have nothing in they got a little small one up front for the nose uh, for the troll motor up front I got a it's a Minn Kota it's the Altera as the one that goes up and down on its own which works well for me uh, that way you can kind of run back and forth from the back to the front uh, another thing I really like about this boat is uh, I love the vinyl flooring as opposed to the carpeting great don't have to worry about your lures getting caught in the carpet although the side walls are all are carpeted so it finds its way to snag in there but it doesn't get real slick when it's wet and it works real good I really like it all my other boats had carpet and I don't think I never go back to a carpet floor so that's my basic setup that's what I usually use uh, when I'm walleye fishing I'm usually in the back here you know, back trolling with my anise troll motor. And then when I'm bass fishing, I 
I'm usually sitting in the back also. I'm just controlling it with that foot pedal from the front and in the back. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.